Third Dark Trinity, Molech. Molech is the darkest of the Trinity. He is associated with the darkest sin of killing human beings. In the Bible, it speaks of his acts as the most grievous of abominations and a sign that a nation has turned entirely against the ways of God and has become lost to him. The Valley of Hinnom is the ground that is filled with blood, ashes, and little bones, and the evidence of murder of ancient times. Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet that cried over the valley for his nation. We as the people of America need to be crying and weeping for the shedding of blood in modern times. Molech is a spirit and God associated with the sacrifice of children by their parents. It is the principality of cold and human bloodlust and horrid destruction. In ancient days, they called it passing through the fire to Molech. And today, we call it abortion. The child was pierced, cut, torn apart, and left to die, and then burned. Modern day abortion is done in the same way. And to make it burn faster, they use a chemical solution on the baby. The act of murdering a child was so intense to the public that they were sheltered from hearing it by the sounds of flutes and drums. Today, abortion is hidden from the public, so no one can hear the baby's agony of screams. Moloch's spirit has mixed with the spirit of Baal for profit. The baby parts are harvested from the murdered children and sold. Society says it's for the public good, while they increase their profits. They try to tell us that it's for medicine and health benefit. They say that women who choose to have an abortion is helping the world. So many people will be responsible before God for shedding the blood of an innocent child. They are the ones that perform the act and sanctify it. The corporations that benefit from the bloodshed. The political leaders and legislatures who fight to ensure the policies and laws are passed, the radical activists who speak blessings and praises over abortions, and the women that choose to kill their own children. Molech's bronze image was in the city of Hornus. He had extended hands with palms up that stretched towards the ground. Parents and others would place their children in the hands, and they would roll and drop them into a pit filled with fire. You can read about Molech in Le Leviticus, 2 Kings, 2 Chronicles, Nehemiah, 2 Chronicles 28 and 38 chapters, and Ezekiel. Human and child sacrifice was the devaluation of life. Children with deformities or disabilities were commonly discarded by their parents. Even healthy children were murdered if they found undesirable or unwanted by their parents. They could be murdered at one's birth or before or after. It was common for children to be killed in their woman's womb. When Nazi Germany with Adolf Hitler turned away from biblical values with Russia, human life became disposable. God said that life was a gift from the Lord and to be cherished and treasured. The removal of Molech. The spirit of death associated with Molech was removed when the Christian faith and biblical teachings were taught by Jesus and his disciples. These teachings brought protection to the young and the unborn children. Lives were saved of prisoners and slaves. The gods of death were sent to exile. The return of Molech. In 1920s, the Soviet Union became the first to legalize the killing of unborn children. 
1980 to 2015, China had a one-child policy that was strictly enforced with punishments, including fines and forced abortions. Fan and I were in China when the one-child policy was lifted in 2015. We did not see but one handicapped person in China while we visited, and he was a tourist. We thought it was strange. In 2021, it was loosened to a three-child limit, and all penalties for exceeding them were removed. Birth rates remain low today, even after the removal of the policy. Over time, the country's sex ratio of more men than women it has created a generation of missing women. There are less women able to have children now in China. This is affecting them now in their economy. Less people to work in their plants to produce the products that they supply to the world. You will start hearing more and more about this in the coming year. Molech in America. On January the 22nd of 1973, the Supreme Court legalized the murder of unborn children. Molech had come to America. A mother's natural maternal instinct to save one's child at all costs was weakened, and in some cases, gone, by the spirit of Ishtar. Now these mothers that had fought, they had won to abort their children. Each mother would now do as they pleased. Human life was devalued as these women chose to kill their children for the truth that they created. The sexual revolution had bore its fruit in the modern world. More and more children were conceived outside of marriage and were more likely to be unwanted. Women believed that a child would hamper their educational and career prospects, their time, their energy, and future earning capability. The child would be a burden to her aspirations. By killing the child, the hindrance and the burden would be removed and she could achieve her goals and attain success and prosperity that Baal had promised her. Their lives would provide the modern-day sacrifices of Molech. America, the shining city on the hill, had now become the blood-soaked high place of Molech. Their blood cries out. Since 1970s, from the time that murder was legalized in America, Approximately one million children are killed every year. By the 21st century, 60 million children had been killed. America is the valley of Kingdom of today with its unfathomable proportions of innocent blood, ashes, and little bones. With the turning away from God in Germany and Soviet Union, there were 6 million Jews killed and over tens of millions that perished in the World War. America and the world had far exceeded the Moloch of ancient times. The Bible tells us when the spirits return to the house, they come back with seven times worse than from the start. There is a judgment. The prophets warned Israel that if they did turn away from God to follow other gods, that it would lead to destruction and judgment. America has turned away from the teachings of Jesus and the disciples and has followed after these same gods that the prophets warned about. Judgment applies not only to the nations, but to the people. We must individually examine our words and actions on how we will be judged before God. Did we partake in the nation's war against God? 
Did we join in its defiance of God and celebrate its destruction of his ways? Did we lead little children into confusion? Did we cause children to be killed by passively condoning such things, by doing and saying nothing to stop them? I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Give me a like and subscribe subscribe to my channel. The next podcast will be on spiritual revival. Thank you.